Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Like the one thing we have to understand is when, when we kind of go at each other, right, people see that. Mm-hmm. And this is supposed to be a community. So from that perspective, when... I'm new to firearms and I've gotten into it all the kind of hatred and trolling of, of people who are frontward facing representatives of this particular movement in this community. It's like, I don't want to be a part of this. I get that. I hear that all the time. Mm-hmm. It's like, man, look, I, I just got into the gun thing. I like it. But man, dude, like that place is it's the gun community is is vicious, man. Like they're, they're, it's just toxic. Yeah. And, and it's like, I don't really want to be a part of it. So now what have we done? What have we done? We just create another closet gun person. Yeah. We're, we e- we're eating people. ourselves. We're eating ourselves. Yeah. I think I think there's a lot of that going on. And and before I get off the subject of money, I think that, that what you have to realize, there's lots of people out there that say, hey, I don't do this for money. I think those of us who are doing this are probably, money is not our number one motivator because we're losing money for doing <laughs> what we're doing, you know. Um, but when other people are looking at it and they're like, oh, I'm going to get into this world and have to go through all of these kinds of problems in, in terms of, you know, I'm shut down at what I could do. If you look at YouTube, uh, people that are car advocates out there, they don't have to go through this, right? If, if you're an auto, if you're, if you're into cars, you don't have to go through this. You can go from cars to anything else and, and you're still cool. But if you're in guns, very difficult to go to anything else or do anything else on the side because people are going to shut you down. I mean... Let me tell you this. There are people who have audiences the size of mine, Hickok, so forth and so on, who are not in the gun space and are making millions just off YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I struggle to crack $1,000 sometimes a month on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Yeah, right. I know. That's man. the that's that's the environment and world that we are living in with regard to communication in the Second Amendment. Yeah. So why are we making it? 10 times harder on ourselves. Like, think about it, like, like I could, I could just close up shop and go be a damn lawyer, right? But I love what I do. I mm-hmm. truly enjoy it. And, mm-hmm. and, 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 and I'm incredibly passionate about it. And so I would still do it, but it's like, sometimes I'm just worth it. Like, I've had moments like that because the stress is insane. Yeah, so just start that again. Start that stuff. again. Before you said moments, you oh. went out. So what did you say? Sometimes oh, okay. I said, so, so sometimes I have my moments like, man, is this worth it? Like, because the stress is insane. Mm-hmm. I like, I like. For me, it's. I, I look back and I go, "Holy crap!" Like, this is really having effect an, an effect on my mental, my relationships with people. And then I got to turn around and look at the same community. And then now I got to deal with groups of people in that community that are coming at me. And then I got to turn around and when I go to the other side, it's another group of people who hate me for what I stand for. At a certain point, you're just like, "What am I doing?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Yeah. And it's like I don't I don't do anything to anybody. I don't talk bad about anybody. I stay I stay in my own lane. I do my I do what I'm passionate about and I and I don't I don't I just do my thing. Yeah. So I just I just don't understand the the, the vitriolic element of the community and where it comes from in a lot of ways. It it really baffles how yeah. Yeah. I Listen, I know this conversation is tough because it's breaking up a little bit or whatever. We'll probably we'll try to get Colin to come back. Uh, <laughs> but right now we're going to try to do it because we're here. We got to get it in. Yeah, I think I think that people need to be really careful with that and need to like instead of getting deep into this money thing and beating up people who are on your side. You know, uh, there's a lot of that going on. People beating up people about money or how much money you have. I'm not sure why all of that's happening. I, d- I don't really think it's a good idea because I think just by being in this, you believe in the Second Amendment, you believe in guns, you're out here fighting, you're advocating. Like you said, you're, you're trying to convert people, bring people over to our side. It's not cool to go after people on that level when just what they're doing is a sacrifice. And then on top of that, we're giving money, we're fighting fights, you know, we're, we're trying to help other people out. We're getting the word out about everything that we possibly can. I just managed to get that in. Go ahead. What anybody does. If, 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 like, if somebody wants to go on YouTube and just shoot guns and blow stuff up and never give a dollar to the movement, so what? They're still adding to the culture. Like, people need to understand, like, they're, they're, everyone, has a, everyone has their lane. Everyone has their role in their task. Some people decided to take those roles up. Other people were kind of thrust into it, and sometimes it's a little bit of both. If you want to sit up and, and just shoot guns and not talk about any of the politics stuff, you're cool with my book. Come on, come on into the camp. Mm-hmm. You want to blow stuff up as long as you do. You're safe about it, and you're not being completely goofy. 
Come on in, join the camp. If all you want to talk about is two-way politics and, 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 and yell and scream about politics, fine with me, come on into the camp. I don't care. Mm-hmm. If all you want to do is sit there quietly and give tons of money, do it. Yeah, we need everyone. Like it, it's, I don't understand this 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 weird filter that we try to pass everyone through to say, are you a real gun guy? Do you like guns? Yep, sure do. All right, are you doing anything to? Are you not? That's my standard. Yeah, say that again. Are you doing anything? That's where you kind of broke up. So okay, gotcha. So for me, I look at it like this: Are you doing anything to undermine the Second Amendment in this country? Mm-hmm. And if it's no, come on in. Mm-hmm. We're good. I don't care how you decide to engage in this community. I don't care how you decide to engage in the Second Amendment as long as you're not hurting anybody and doing anything to undermine the Second Amendment. Because as far as I'm concerned, at that point, you are an ally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's true. And I think it's too bad that we're getting into that because, like you said, it's making a lot of people. I know sometimes Lola and I have these conversations. And she's like, wow, yeah. this thing is really, I can't believe that that we're giving up everything for this. Lola goes to, to work. She works all day. Then she comes here. She stays here until, you know, into the, by the time we get home, it's 11 o'clock at night, you yeah. know. And then I'm here all day myself, and that's Monday to Friday. And then the weekends we're doing stuff. When we're on vacation with our kids, we're doing things. And she's like, why? What What is this all about? You know? Um, and I And I think that. Yeah, no. Yeah, I think what I see happening is not what – obviously, look, we're all mad, and I think that's part of the reason why I wanted to, to uh, let people have a chance to hear from you. I think people are mad. Like if they they, they kind of see you as a symbol, man, right? That's a double-edged sword, but you do realize you're in that position, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Here's, the, here's, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I don't – look, you can come to me out. Look, y'all see the way I go at these politicians. Mm-hmm. You really honestly think I couldn't snap back at some of these people that are coming at me in the industry? Like, do you really think I don't have the means and ability to do that to destroy them? Oh, I absolutely, just, just, I absolutely think you could. I think you choose not to. I choose not to because what does that do for the community? It does nothing. Mm-hmm. It does nothing. So, okay, so I do a verbal jab, I do a verbal snap back or something creative, and that completely decimates the person. Then what? Mm-hmm. It, it, like we've accomplished nothing except stroking my ego. Mm-hmm. So, so from that. that defending this this right that i don't ha- i don't want to put energy into dealing with somebody who's coming at me sideways which half the time which is why i'm kind of dismissive of it or i'll just shoot i'll shoot a real low-key subliminal and then keep it moving because as far as i'm concerned like me going at you and battling does nothing more than 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 set us up to stroke our own egos mm-hmm. that's it and so for me that does not that does nothing for the right that mm-hmm. does nothing to bring people on board it's entertaining. People love that. Yeah, let's let's see. Oh, I see comments like that all the time. Man, what this person is doing is so entertaining. I love seeing the fire. That's so whack. Yeah. That's just whack. Like, it's just, it's just not cool. Right. But, hey, I don't have a problem. You want to come at me? That's fine. I'm, I'm, I've, I've, I've stepped into this role. I'm front and center. Bring it. I'm cool with it. My own thing is understand the effect and the ramification it's having on the people who are watching who are trying to decide whether or not to embrace this right. I'll, I'll take the scars, I'll lick my wounds when I go, you know, at night before I go to sleep and call it a day, get up and do it all over again, right? Mm-hmm. That's 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 like my mom says, you made your bed and I lay in it. Right, right. And that's what I do every single day. But when it comes to actually protecting the right, that's to me the most important thing. Mm-hmm. I do it my way, other people do it their way, and let them be. Let them be. Let them protect the right in the way that they do it. Some are more overt than others about it. Some less overt. Let them be. 